In a warehouse in Los Angeles, a small repair shop brings unquantifiable generational joy. This team repairs LA Unified School District's musical instruments, giving millions access to the joy of music for free. It's the subject of Chris Bowers and Ben Proudfoot's latest project, The Last Repair Shop. Difficult work. But no matter what, you do whatever it takes because... Fixing stuff is one of the best things that humans do. That's why this is not just a musical instrument repair shop. When the instrument breaks, there's a student without an instrument. No, no, no. Not in our city. Even if they don't know me, we know it could change their whole life. That one shot right there captures all the magic. And we are joined now by Grammy-nominated co-director Chris Bowers and Academy Award nominee co-director Ben Proudfoot. Thank you both so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Just want to start right off with the idea of LA Unified having this remarkable program to repair these instruments for free. How did this idea come about to, to tell this story? Yeah, well, uh, one of our producers, Jeremy Lambert, actually sent Ben an article about the repair shop. And he was just so surprised, you know, being in L.A. and, and not knowing that story uh, to uh, try to see if, there, if we could have access to this amazing environment. And uh, for me, when he told me about it, being from L.A. and going to LAUSD schools and music being such a huge part of my life, I also immediately was, was so excited about this uh, magical place I didn't know existed. And, and yeah, you say you grew up in the L.A. Unified School District. What was that like? I mean, for me, you know, music was such a huge part of my life as a kid. I started playing piano when I was four, and uh, in elementary school, middle school, that was really my way of um, interfacing with the public. I feel like I was never really a, I was always introverted. I didn't really feel comfortable um, processing my emotions verbally or outwardly, and so piano immediately became this way for me to process how I felt, how, for me to deal with any difficult emotions, uh, and so having access to that um, in music classes or just, you know, in the auditorium or any of that was really integral to my growing up. And Ben, I know this isn't the first time that you all have worked together, mm. but in this particular case, what was it like meeting the people who are impacted and, and talking to them about how this is maybe life-changing for them? Yeah, you know, it's always um, a joy to show up with a big camera crew <laughs> into somebody's life. You, you may probably know this experience. <laughs> Um, and with, with the spirit of saying, you know, it's, it's finally showtime f to give you the, the respect and honor that we think you, you deserve. Um, and the film just released yesterday on, on YouTube and already we're getting all kinds of texts from the four repair people in the movie who, you know, they're not used to getting a lot of attention and love. And um, it just, it makes me emotional to think about, you know, because there's so many people, especially in education who just don't get thanked, right? Who work for decades and never get thanked. And why is it so important? You know, people don't, I don't think, really often see these kinds of stories to realize the value of actually giving to the arts. Yeah. I, I, I don't know exactly why it is. You know, I think, you know, it's like, it's like uh, Dead Poet Society, right? Like, these are the things that we live for. Um, you know, and but I think I think what the movie tries to get at is how having access to a musical instrument, you know, no matter what your background is or whether you can afford it or not, can transform your life. You can either, you know, become an amazing professional musician like Chris, or maybe that gives you the confidence uh, to go on and and do something else. But um, I believe, and and we both believe that it's something that we must invest in. And that's what The Last Repair Shop is all about. And, and you hear it from the kids, too, when they have their moment in the film. And, and talking about the moment, there is a part, part toward the end where you see the young kids playing the score with the professionals. Kind of give us a sense of, of the excitement and what it was like for the kids from their perspective. Uh, it was pretty thrilling, you know, for them to record at Warner Brothers and be sitting next to these people that have played on so many scores and so many uh, recordings that they probably have heard and grew to, uh, grown up listening to. Um, and for us, we talked about from very early on uh, this idea of having this multi-generational orchestra of musicians that have all been touched by this repair shop. And so having kids from, 
you know, the age of seven to these veterans that are nearly 70 that, you know, went to LAUSD schools playing together, I think was uh, so amazing to, to see all come together. And for people to not even recognize or, or know that somebody that they've known for a long time actually also went to an LAUSD school and, and have that in common. Uh, but for the kids especially, I think just having that experience, I really hope, um, helps them to feel even more confident moving forward as, as musicians. I know you guys both have very busy schedules. Any upcoming projects that you want to share with us? Uh, yeah, for me, um, on the scoring side as a composer, I worked on Ava DuVernay's Origin, which comes out um, in December, and also The Color Purple, which comes out uh, around Christmas. Busy, busy. Chris, Ben, we thank you both so much for coming on the show, making the time. Really appreciate it. want to let our viewers know that The Last Repair Shop is available to watch via the LA Times website or the LA Times YouTube page. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.